Colossians chapters 1 through 4 of the Bible, Douay Rheims, 1899 American Edition. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Chapter 1 Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, and Timothy, a brother, to the saints and faithful brethren in Christ Jesus, who are at Colossa. Grace be to you, and peace from God our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. We give thanks to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you, hearing your faith in Christ Jesus, and the love which you have towards all the saints, for the hope that is laid up for you in heaven, which you have heard in the word of the truth of the gospel, which is come unto you, as also it is in the whole world, and bringeth forth fruit, and groweth, even as it doth in you, since the day you heard and knew the grace of God in truth. As you learn of Epaphras, our most beloved fellow-servant, who is for you a faithful minister of Christ Jesus, who also hath manifested to us your love in the Spirit, Therefore we also, from the day that we heard it, cease not to pray for you, and to beg that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that you may walk worthy of God in all things pleasing, being fruitful in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with all might, according to the power of his glory, in all patience and long-suffering with joy, giving thanks to God the Father, who hath made us worthy to be partakers of the lot of the saints in light, who hath delivered us from the power of darkness, and hath translated us into the kingdom of the Son of his love, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the remission of sins, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. For in him were all things created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominations or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and in him. And he is before all, and by him all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he may hold the primacy. Because in him it hath well pleased the Father that all fullness should dwell, and through him to reconcile all things unto himself, making peace through the blood of his cross, both as to the things that are on earth and the things that are in heaven. And you, whereas you were sometime alienated, and enemies in mind in evil works, yet now he hath reconciled in the body of his flesh through death, to present you holy and unspotted and blameless before him. If so ye continue in the faith, grounded and settled, and immovable from the hope of the gospel which you have heard, which is preached in all the creation that is under heaven, whereof I, Paul, am made a minister, who now rejoice in my sufferings for you, and fill up those things that are wanting of the sufferings of Christ in my flesh for his body, which is the church, whereof I am made a minister according to the dispensation of God, which is given me towards you, that I may fulfill the word of God, the mystery which hath been hidden from ages and generations, but now is manifested to his saints, to whom God would make known the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you the hope of glory, whom we preach, admonishing every man, and teaching every man in all wisdom, that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. Wherein also I labor, 
striving according to his working which he worketh in me in power end of chapter one chapter two for i would have you know what manner of care i have for you and for them that are at laodicea and whosoever have not seen my face in the flesh that their hearts may be comforted being instructed in charity and unto all riches of fullness of understanding unto the knowledge of the mystery of god the father and of christ jesus in whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge now this i say that no man may deceive you by loftiness of words for though i be absent in body yet in spirit i am with you rejoicing and beholding your order and the steadfastness of your faith which is in christ as therefore you have received jesus christ the lord walk ye in him rooted and built up in him and confirmed in the faith as also you have learned abounding in him in thanksgiving beware lest any man cheat you by philosophy and vain deceit according to the tradition of men according to the elements of the world and not according to christ for in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead corporally. And you are filled in him who is the head of all principality and power, in whom also you are circumcised with circumcision not made by hand in despoiling of the body of the flesh, but in the circumcision of Christ, buried with him in baptism, in whom also you are risen again by the faith of the operation of god who hath raised him up from the dead and you when you were dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh he hath quickened together with him forgiving you all offences blotting out the handwriting of the decree that was against us which was contrary to us and he hath taken the same out of the way fastening it to the cross and despoiling the principalities and powers he hath exposed them confidently in open show triumphing over them in himself let no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink or in respect of a festival day or of the new moon or of the sabbaths which are a shadow of things to come, but the body is of Christ. Let no man seduce you, willing in humility and religion of angels, walking in the things which he hath not seen, in vain puffed up by the sense of his flesh, and not holding the head, from which the whole body by joints and bands being supplied with nourishment and compacted groweth unto the increase of god if then you be dead with christ from the elements of this world why do you yet decree as though living in the world touch not taste not handle not which all are unto destruction by the very use according to the precepts and doctrines of men which things have indeed a show of wisdom in superstition and humility, and not sparing the body, not in any honour to the filling of the flesh. End of chapter 2 Chapter 3 Therefore, if you be risen with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. Mind the things that are above, not the things that are upon the earth. For you are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ shall appear, who is your life, then you also shall appear with him in glory. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, 
lust evil concupiscence and covetousness which is the service of idols for which things the wrath of god cometh upon the children of unbelief in which you also walked some time when you lived in them but now put you also all away anger indignation malice blasphemy filthy speech out of your mouth lie not one to another stripping yourselves of the old man with his deeds and putting on the new him who is renewed unto knowledge according to the image of him that created him where there is neither gentile nor jew circumcision nor uncircumcision barbarian nor scythian bond nor free but christ is all and in all put ye on therefore as the elect of god holy and beloved the bowels of mercy benignity humility modesty patience bearing with one another and forgiving one another if any have a complaint against another even as the lord hath forgiven you so do you also but above all these things have charity which is the bond of perfection and let the peace of christ rejoice in your hearts wherein also you are called in one body and be ye thankful let the word of christ dwell in you abundantly in all wisdom teaching and admonishing one another in psalms hymns and spiritual canticles singing in grace in your hearts to god all whatsoever you do in word or in work do all in the name of the lord jesus christ giving thanks to god and the father by him wives be subject to your husbands as it behoveth in the lord husbands love your wives and be not bitter towards them children obey your parents in all things for this is well pleasing to the lord fathers provoke not your children to indignation lest they be discouraged servants obey in all things your masters according to the flesh not serving to the eye as pleasing men but in simplicity of heart fearing god whatsoever you do do it from the heart as to the lord and not to men knowing that you shall receive of the lord the reward of inheritance serve ye the lord christ for he that doth wrong shall receive for that which he hath done wrongfully and there is no respect of persons with god end of chapter three chapter four masters do to your servants that which is just and equal knowing that you also have a master in heaven be instant in prayer watching in it with thanksgiving praying withal for us also that god may open unto us a door of speech to speak the mystery of christ for which also i am bound that i may make it manifest as i ought to speak walk with wisdom towards them that are without redeeming the time let your speech be always in grace seasoned with salt that you may know how you ought to answer every man all the things that concern me tychicus our dearest brother and faithful minister and fellow-servant in the lord will make known to you whom i have sent to you for this same purpose that he may know the things that concern you and comfort your hearts with onesimus a most beloved and faithful brother who is one of you all things that are done here they shall make known to you aristarchus my fellow-prisoner saluteth you and mark the cousin german of barnabas touching whom you have received commandments if he come unto you receive him and jesus that is called justice who are of the circumcision these only are my helpers in the kingdom of god who have been a comfort to me epaphras saluteth you who is one of you a servant of christ jesus who is always solicitous for you in prayers that you may stand perfect and full in all the will of god 
for I bear him testimony that he hath much labor for you, and for them that are at Laodicea, and them at Hierapolis. Luke, the most dear physician, saluteth you, and Demas. Salute the brethren who are at Laodicea, and Nymphas, and the church that is in his house. And when this epistle shall have been read with you, cause that it be read also in the church of the Laodiceans, and that you read that which is of the Laodiceans. And say to Archippus, Take heed to the ministry which thou hast received in the Lord, that thou fulfill it. The salutation of Paul with my own hand. Be mindful of my bands. Grace be with you. Amen. End of chapter 4